the players want to help. I want to, because, you know, a lot of them have sustained a concussion and, and they want to try and help future generation of players. Many studies have looked at the correlation between concussions and American football. Now researchers are looking at Canada's sport. A team at the University of British Columbia has started studying the effects of concussions on hockey players with the help from the school's women's and men's varsity teams. And we're also looking at the brain structural changes following those um, sub-concussive and concussive impacts. And we're also looking at behavioral aspects. So we're looking at how it affects the player's memory, their moods, uh, balance, and their vision. The teams are also using special mouth guards during games and practices. Sensors inside the mouth guards will be used to track head impacts. And what happens is they, uh, a player gets hit on the ice and it triggers a record and records that impact that the head experiences. The great thing about these mouth guards is that uh, they've got a good coupling with the skull and they're advancing on from helmet sensors. The problem with helmet, helmet sensors is that they they move independent of what what the uh, the skull is 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 doing. So with these mouth guards, it can really accurate measure head exposure during play. The study is still in the early stages, but the team tells City News they are hoping that the research may lead to better preventative measures in the sport of hockey, such as helmets and post concussion treatment. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.